everyone. Welcome back to the Leilani Estates update for June 7th, 2018. We have some breaking news to report. Uh, as of Thursday, June 7th, 2018, 12 p.m., the Civil Defense has posted an alert stating that the curfew has been lifted uh, for Leilani Estates west of Pomakai Street. Access is for residents with official credentials only. So basically what that means is everyone west of the Pomakai uh, Street a mandatory evacuation zone is now no longer under a curfew. The curfew was 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and had been established uh, very shortly after the, the lava event occurred or started occurring in May 3rd, May 4th. Um, we've uh, the, the citizens uh, of Leilani Estates had put together a, a letter of uh, demand that was presented about a week ago at a public meeting. Uh, nothing was heard about that, so one of the residents then handed in another letter Tuesday um, asking for a response to our original signed letter. Uh, apparently, we got an official response today. Uh, as of 12 noon, uh, the curfew has been listed, or excuse me, has been lifted. However, to get into Leilani Estates, you will still need uh, to have the, the proper credentials. Uh, anyone in the area knows what those, those credentials are, so I won't go into the details. Update for Fissure 8 remains relatively unchanged since yesterday. Uh, vigorous fountains and flows are being reported by USGS. Uh, however, fountain heights are down to about 150 feet from around uh, 200, 250 plus uh, in initial reports. Uh, the channelized flow is still moving uh, on the same path as yesterday, making its way over to Kapoho Bay uh, and the Kapoho area. Fissure 9 between Moku and uh, Kupono Street South. Uh, reports are neutral there as well, no, no lava activity. Uh, it does continue to be steamy and fumy, uh, depending on what time it's observed. Uh, so it, the, the emission levels are variable based on uh, USGS reporting that it's very steamy and personal observations and other reports uh, saying that there there's no steam. So obviously the time of day is important there. As for fissure 24, uh, pretty much the same conditions there. Fissure 24 is located between Capono and um, Nohea Street. Um, it's pretty much like I said, the, the same conditions there. Uh, no, no current lava activity, uh, but steaming and fuming does continue. Current weather conditions for Upper Leilani uh, is cloudy with uh, rain ranging from light to heavy uh, periodically. Um, air quality is pretty decent. A uh, little bit of a, a volcano smell in the air, um, but very tolerable. And finally, our SO2 uh, prediction for June 8th. 2018 for 12 p.m. noon Hawaii Standard Time. Uh, the prediction map shows that uh, uh, the eastward winds are going to come in and push uh, a lot of the SO2 concentration uh, into the interior uh, moving west. So that possibly means that uh, tomorrow afternoon or approaching tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow morning, uh, some sulfur smell and SO2 uh, may be present in Upper Leilani. So anyone in Upper Leilani, make sure you have your respirators uh, handy and available. Check, make sure they're working. Uh, just in case you, you get caught in a, a stream of SO2 and you, you need to, to leave. Um, of course, you know, you need to be aware and monitor the situation uh, for yourself. There will be no official warnings of that. Uh, this mostly applies to people uh, further down uh, towards uh, Pomakai area. Uh, fissure 8 basically is going to be uh, the source. And it, uh, according to the prediction map, looks like that it pushed to the, the west, um, for the most part, up Leilani Avenue. Um, I suggest look at the maps and the resources and make uh, the judgments that you need and uh, be safe and uh, be alert. Thank you for joining me. 
This has been the Leilani Estates update for June 7th, 2018.